Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Anto. My friend uh, know, knows me online as uh, S A S Drake. Please forgive me if my English is not so uh, so good. I have not enough practice for uh, being English uh, speaking video, but I had to make this video, and you. I hope you forgive me for some sentences. Or where I'm not correct, or I lose some words. Um, who my channel knows may, uh, know uh, that I, the most videos on my channels are from Star Citizen, Cloud Imperium, and Chris Roberts. And uh, who watched a little bit in YouTube knows that at the beginning of this month. Uh, there were a Forbes uh, uh, article uh, with the uh, team uh, Chris Roberts, Star Citizens failed. Not directed in these words, but uh, in the end, if you read this article, you come to the point to say Star Citizens failed. Here are some points where I have a little bit problem with uh, with the Forbes uh, uh, dialogue, and I hope I can explain myself a little bit why I'm not on the same page like uh, them. First of all, um, they talked about Chris Roberts, how he uh, got the money cr uh, about, uh, across the crowdfunding, and Build up so much uh, to work on Star Citizen. And there's a little bit disappointment at my point, uh, point because his idea was Squadron 42, a single player campaign. And the crowdfunding was so well uh, going that he t uh, said, okay, I'm making Squadron 42 with co op mode. And at the end, the crowdfunding was so explo uh, explode, uh, um, exploded that he said, okay, now we are making a Star Citizen open world and Squadron 42. We are talking at this point about two games. Not one game, two games. We have two games in the development phase. And um, there is the beginning where I'm saying uh, don't forget that he uh, his uh, starting point is zero. He have no engine, he have not enough uh, worker, his company was too small to uh, build uh, uh, the whole game on its own. He must expand, he must uh, uh, hire new workers, uh, new pro uh, Hire new workers uh, for the project. Uh, he must uh, he, uh, buy. Uh, he bought new equipment. He bought the light sent from Crytek, and started at this, uh, this point. And I think he worked two years with Crytek. I'm not sure. If you know uh, a little bit more, write it in the comments under this video. And he got to the point where he saw Crytek cannot deliver what he needs. And um, at this point he must uh, he, he changed uh, the uh, engine from Crytek to Amazon. Amazon had a new engine there was not uh, was only a basic uh, system behind it and I don't know if it was on, uh, so that there is um, how will, how will tell it um, if there is uh, something like okay we are helping you with the engine and can use your license uh, and you can t take what we deliver for other uh, 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 selling points. I'm only saying I'm believing that something in this uh, direction was. I don't know it. Okay. And he started again at zero. Now the time was uh, 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 lost. 
we had patch uh, uh, one point and patch two point where uh, there were no c uh, content in uh, this patches. Port Alisar, uh, some space station, Crusader, um, and that was it. So the content was minimal. The progress were, uh, stood on this uh, at this point, but um, what the people forget, yeah, we had no new patches with, uh, with new content. The company in the background worked again on the point to make new tools for the programming to uh, uh, build up a database for the new tools and all the whole work. And if the people were from the beginning at the, uh, 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 at the program and watched uh, the whole time, plus it doesn't have a, a, a really good uh, media take. You can watch the videos, what have they done, what were the problem, what they must take out and make build new. This was the first company where, uh, where uh, there was the talking about the problems in, in the development. And not only, um, ta-da, we are uh, uh, finished all and here have you the game. And then comes the point what, uh, where the popes don't uh, go into it, the patch 3.0. Uh, At the point 3.0, we got every three months a new patch with new content. Okay, the content is sometimes a little bit bigger, sometimes a little bit lesser, new locations, new ships, new weapons, new miss missions. But if you take your time and went to Robert Space Industries on the website and uh, uh, open up the roadmap from uh, from Star Citizen, you f will find the points. Uh, you will find a tech call, and you will see they are working on stability, on uh, bug fixes, on how you will uh, would uh, say it. Uh, the new containment streaming system, the, the, the whole core of the g uh, game to make a, be uh, a better experience for the gamer. Who was at the first patch and the second patch knows that there was frame times from one, uh, uh, from 7, 8, 9 FPS. Uh, FPS. Now we have I have a stability of uh, 60 uh, FPS. The only things at the mining of the beginning of this uh, month, I had uh, uh, losers in FPS of 40 FPS or 30 FPS, but it went back to 60 FPS. It don't crash down to the desktop. And this is a, a point where the folks don't talk mu talk much about. And then and there's the point, delivering time. I love this point. Because I watched a little bit online, it's, a, it's not easy. The most companies don't talk much about development time of uh, the games. But you can, fi uh, can find uh, some points. And there's yeah, some information to uh, um, watch, uh, to uh, get a better look at development times and that Chris Roberts don't lose uh, uh, lost on the whole uh, line. World of Warcraft, POV, was five years in the uh, uh, development phase. Yeah, five years is Okay, Chris Roberts asked uh, three years uh, 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 to, uh, uh, about this, uh, uh, across the line of this time. Uh, uh, time. But um, World of Warcraft is a little bit simpler as uh, a Star Citizen. And they don't start it at zero. 
Their character uh, uh, design was from Warcraft uh, 3 engine. And they had uh, they had a base where they can build up to the point of the release. And don't forget, World of Warcraft at the first day of release had uh, their own problems. Not all uh, the server times, uh, the crashes and uh, other points. But, okay, we got the point and make, uh, made some money. Then there have, was StarCraft 2. StarCraft 2 built up on StarCraft 1. Okay. It's a strategy uh, <laughs> a game, new graphic, uh, a new engine for the graphic, and uh, also, but took seven years to the development point, to the release point. Seven years. Okay. Diablo 3. They are talking about seven years for the release at the point of the announce uh, that the game will come. But if I I'm correct, um, they started the project at 2001, and if you take the release date and the announce point where they said that the game will come, and the starting point, we have 11 years for the whole game, and Diablo 3 is based on Diablo 1 and 2. Yes, there are some core mechanics was new and the market was new, and but uh, uh, the really core system was there. And um, Team Fortress 2 was nine years in development phase. There are some times that we, I so would think, okay, Chris Roberts has not lost the, uh, uh, the run, the race. And, okay, the people today are a little bit um, uh, uh, viewing of the wrong point in development phases, because they are watching on titles like Assassin's Creed. And Assassin's Creed, every two years, Sometimes every year a new title. Uh, uh, EA every year a new F uh, FIFA or uh, American football t uh, title. Battlefield don't take uh, so much time too. Yes, that's uh, all titles w uh, what succeed, but uh, they are not develop uh, the development don't start at zero. The core mechanics are there, the core uh, engine is there, the setting got changing, uh, uh, changes, the story got changes, and they built on something finished. And don't get me wrong, uh, the Assassin's Creed title with the new settings and all this point and the new story was fantastic. But the game on self don't flash me so, uh, so much like the first title. First title, whoa, where you could climb up all the buildings and the stealth mechanic was really good at this point. Uh, the game was for, for me fine. On the other line, we knew Battlefield games in, in, uh, in a really uh, ho ho good uh, circle of new titles, but the last good Battlefield for me was Battlefield. Battlefield 4 was uh, don't, uh, not so good for me, and Hardline is a, uh, is a team, uh, team for, uh, uh, I, I think, a whole video for itself. And the biggest point where the Battlefield we lost was Battlefield 1. Don't get, uh, get me wrong, the setting was cool, the sound was cool, the graphics was fantastic. But I, got, I had a little bit the feeling of a Star Wars Battlefront 1 of the game. Okay, you had no jump pads, fly across the sky, the sky and something similar. But 
to the starting point, the running point, to get killed, to restart. There was so much feeling of a Battlefront view that I don't had uh, liked the game. And the game had the own bu bugs, what was not so good for me. I hated it if I have a, fr a friend of a reason invited in the party that I cannot <laughs> take a vehicle and control it correctly. He and I had, had the same problems. And this fast deliverance um, suggests that it's difficult to make a game. But we all know the last years that a fast release can uh, don't uh, always be a good release. I'm a Fallout fan, and I don't. Uh, I'm thinking that I don't have to speak about Fallout 76 on this. Um, Anthem was five years in the deliverance and was not so good at the release. I with the open world feeling was not there. I liked the concept of the game. I waited for the game, but the open world feeling come uh, don't come uh, at this uh, point. The battles are more instances. I uh, have more instances feeling for me, and the loot system was crappy. The load uh, loading times was uh, uh, crappy, and. My wish was they had to took one year, two years more, delivery something better than this, because I like the concept of of the game. So um, this these are points what the Forbes don't talk about. They are only showing us star citizen and talking about uh, uh, mistakes, what's a bit. And the other t point is they are talking with some pro uh, programmers uh, uh, from Cloud Imperium, ex-workers, and where the disappointed was of uh, the working uh, work, of their work with Chris Roberts. And uh, one of them talked about that he delivered only six characters in one year. Why? Well, Chris Roberts always says, ah, uh, make the nose bigger, smaller, the chin is not uh, good, make over it. Uh, and complaining about such uh, a point? Go to Japan, speak with an enemy uh, character designer, and ask him how often must rework a character design of a manga adaptation on what his studio is working because the uh, 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 um, artist of the manga is not <laughs> uh, 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 how uh, he don't like the concept of the character design of the anime creator. Um, and there will you find points where they talk six times, ten times, twenty times, they must rework a character. The same character, because the personality don't match the design. It's a, re uh, a really interesting point, uh, where the people should think about it. Chris Roberts asked them to rework something. And then there's a, a wonder um, programmer who complained about it. Chris Roberts said he, su uh, shu uh, he should make a, phys a physical a component and not a scripted component. Scripted is easier. Physical co uh, programming is complexer. Is complex. Yeah, I talked at the beginning of this video, Star Citizen is a space simulation game. Or, if I don't talk at the beginning of uh, this video, Star Citizen is a simulation game. And where is the point of a simulation game is um, the realistic 
the behavior of components. Watch, we have piracy in, uh, in Star City. In the moment, the hitboxes are HP scripted, health point scripted. And if you take too much damage uh, on, uh, on your hitboxes, the uh, 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 health point uh, calculation got to the point that your ship is destroyed. And there is a variation that a component goes down or is destroyed or so. But on var variations, not on physical hitboxes. The point is where Star Citizen could be is if I aim at the engine, and hit the engine, then your sh uh, ship uh, 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 should still, and I can board, uh, board, uh, board your ship to steal your uh, uh, goods. Uh, sh uh, ship. And this is only wo uh, working with physical hitbox, not scripted hitbox. Um, why I'm saying it because some games have a similar feeling of realistic, but are not realistic. I'm playing War Thunder, and I like to uh, drive the tanks in this game, and I play in the realistic mode. And if I hit the engine of a tank, for me it's logical. If the engine got hit. The tank cannot drive, <laughs> but sometimes I'm hitting the engine and he run away, and I don't know why, because I saw uh, see a clear hit, but uh, uh, it's a scripted game with a, a little bit realistic feeling in it, so I cannot complain at this point. These are points where you should think that uh, uh, about it. How complex does it is in the development that it will takes time to polish every point of the development and create it in the, uh, before it to get the point that the game will release in the com uh, uh, whole uh, 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 and I. I cannot think bad, uh, back where Chris Roberts said, or Cloud Imperium said, if you buy this title, you pay to play a title. You are in, uh, you're buying an, in, an investment for this game. You are a part of the development. You are writing your bug reports uh, for the team that, you can f uh, that the team can fix it and rework it. And you can write your ideas in the uh, uh, for, uh, forum, and team will uh, react on that uh, on your ideas ideas too. Not every time on the fastest way, but they are making it, and they are interested in the feedback of the community because we are the investors. And I'd, I'm thinking that's the point where the Forbes gets a little bit off is the Forbes is a, a, a magazine for investors, for the finance uh, orienta uh, oriented peoples. And Chris Roberts never took in a publisher or someone uh, who said, here, take, take my money, but I'm t uh, talking with, uh, with you how you will develop this, uh, uh, develop this game at the end. Because he will not rush across the de uh, development phase. This is a point where the folks forget it or don't w will talk about it. And then there comes a point where the Forbes uh, uh, Article gets a very bad taste in my mouth. Is they're talking about Chris Roberts, about his ex wife, about his new wife, the problems on the private uh, affairs, and what to the hell have this to do with the citizen? Nothing. 
this is only to aim at a brighter uh, 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 audition on people who read this I, uh, I, I take to this is Boulevard uh, Press, bad press for me. And uh, this is where the Forbes lose me on the whole, lose me on the whole uh, uh, line of reading. Because the private problem of some people are not interesting. And this is only for clickbaiting. To get more uh, more uh, uh, people to read the uh, article. And this is a point where I'm a little bit disappointed of some YouTubers. Because that's the point why I'm making now this video and not at the beginning of the month. I was a little bit on YouTube. How is the response for, uh, about this uh, article? And there was... Okay, there was in the first days Star, Cit Star Citizen failed. Chris Robertson failed. And then you are watching this video and they are only talking about the point what the Forbes uh, uh, said. And you get the feeling this is not their own talking, it's only what is written in this article. And then you watch the history of the channel and you see he never done any uh, uh, videos about Star Citizen. Or he had Star Citizen in the program at the beginning of, uh, of the development. Uh, patch 1, patch 2, where there were no content and stopped it at this point. And now he dumped on the Forbes thing. To get the clicks, to get uh, more viewers, to... And I'm a little bit sad about this because um, in our time can really fast search the internet what is the uh, 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 point where are the standing was is, uh, the information of this time better than about ten years back and uh, this. People don't do it, so, uh, only speak the same uh, things in an article where I have now uh, um, been talking in Germany about hand and foot, uh, beginning and the end, and only the two points are there and not uh, nothing between them. And I hope I could deliver in this video a little bit of my thoughts and a little bit of my feelings and if you lose uh, <laughs> if I lose you on some points because I couldn't explain it in the right words please write it down in the comments and I hope uh, hope that I can correct it and again sorry for my poor English to speak I'm understanding better and can better read English than speaking English because I don't have the exercise. I hope I can be better at some point. I will train it a little bit and hope you can help me with it. And I hope I will see you back in the future. Until the next time, Ante Ake Aestrake.